now we're going to um, introduce the concept of uh, discrete random variables. So um, here, we expect to develop the notion of a random variable, numerical data and discrete random variables, and uh, their corresponding probabilities. So we define a random variable is a variable that assumes numerical values associated with the random outcome of an experiment where one and only one numerical value is assigned to each uh, outcome or to each sample point. And um, we denote uh, the random variable by having to make use of um, x, which takes on a defined set of values with different probabilities. So for example, if you roll a die, the outcome is random, which is not fixed. And there are six possible outcomes because a die is um, a cube with six faces, and each of which occur with probability which is equal to one sixth. Okay, and um, there are two types of random variables. So we have um, a discrete random variable, and we also have a continuous random variable. So when we say a discrete random variable, it can assume a countable number of values. So for example, the number of steps to the top of the Eiffel Tower. And a continuous random variable can assume any value along a given interval of a number line. And uh, for example, the time a tourist stays at the top once he or she gets there. And um, here, um, let's consider other examples for uh, what we refer to as discrete random variable and continuous random variable. So say number of sales, okay, number of calls, shares of stock, people in line, and mistakes per page. So these are some examples of discrete random variables. And um, examples of continuous random variables say we have length, depth, volume, time, and weight. Okay, now um, we will extend it to what we refer to as probability distributions for discrete random variables. So when we say a probability distribution of a random variable, it may refer to a graph, a table, a formula that specifies the probability associated with each possible outcome the random variable can assume. And these are the two characteristics of a probability distribution for discrete random variables. So the probability of each of, uh, for each values of x um, is within the range of 0 and 1. So meaning we will not have or we will not encounter probability values which will be negative or less than 0. In the same manner, we will not have probability values which are greater than 1. Okay, And if we sum up all of the probability values, the sum must be equal to 1. Okay, So we keep in mind uh, these two properties the moment you are asked to come up or to construct the probability distribution of a specific um, discrete random variable. Okay, Let's take this for example. Say the experiment is... Um, involving a uh, rolling of a die. And we know that a die has six faces. So the probability that a face numbered one will turn up is one six. The probability that a face with number two will turn up is also one six. The same is true when the face uh, that the die would turn up is three, four, five, or six. Okay, so we notice this annotation we have the probability when x is equal to 1. This indicates that uh, we have the probability here when x, which is the face in a die, or the number a die will turn up, is equal to 1. Okay, And uh, we notice, or to double check, if this probability distribution exhibits the two properties that we have indicated earlier, that is, the probability values of each of the sample points or for each of the outcome is within 0 and 1. So if you notice, all probability values are 1, 6, indicating that it is within 0 and 1. Okay, And summing up all of these probabilities, we come up with a sum which is equal to 1. So we have satisfied the two uh, characteristics or the two properties of a probability distribution for discrete random variables. Okay. Now, another way of coming up with the probability distribution is by a graph okay, or by a histogram in this case. So the height of the bars will indicate the probability values. Okay? And uh, what we have here along the x-axis pertaining to the same experiment we have presented earlier, 
when um, the die would turn up 1, the probability is 1, 6. The same is true when the die would turn up 2, the probability is 1, 6. When the die would turn up 3, 4, 5, and 6, they all have the same heights. That's because the probabilities would be equal to 1, 6 for each of them. And summing up all of them, that will be equal to 1. Okay, so if you are asked to come up with a probability distribution table, then you come up with a table the same as what we have here. However, if you are asked to come up with a probability um, histogram, then this is how you are going to come up with the probability distribution. Okay? Now, let's have the following. Let's apply the concept or the two properties we have um, presented earlier. So say uh, what we have here is the number of patients seen in the emergency room in any given R is a random variable which is represented by X. So X here indicates the number of patients seen in the emergency room. And X can assume 10, mean to say 10 patients, 11 patients, 12 patients, 13 patients, and 14 patients. And the probability of each of those corresponding value of X, that is, when the, the probability that 10 patients are seen in the emergency room is 0.4, the probability that we see 11 patients in the emergency room is 0.2, okay? However, the probability that we see 12 patients in the emergency room is unknown. We don't know that, okay? And we're going to compete for that later on. And the probability uh, that we see 13 patients in the emergency room is 0.1. The probability that we see 14 patients is uh, 0.1. Okay, so let's have uh, the first um, question here. So here we are asked to find the probability that in a given R, there are exactly 12 patients that would arrive in the emergency room. And in our probability distribution table, we don't know the probability when X is 12. Okay, however, one of the properties of a discrete probability uh, distribution or a probability distribution is that the sum of all of these probabilities would be equal to 1. And knowing that the sum should be equal to 1, okay, if one value is unknown, all we have to do is to simply add all of the given probabilities and subtract it from the sum which is equal to 1. And in this case, the probability that we have x is equal to 12 or would be equal to 1 minus the sum of all of the probabilities in the given table. That is 0.4 plus 0.2 plus 0.1 plus 0.1. This will give us 0.8. So 1 minus 0.8 will give us 0.2. So that means to say the probability that x is 12, meaning the probability that we see 12 patients in the emergency room would be equal to 0.2. Okay, so keeping that in mind, we are asked to find the probability that in a given R, at least 12 patients arrive. Now, when we say at least, that means to say the minimum is 12. So, meaning we will take X to be equal to 12, 13, and 14. Okay, so in that case, uh, we use the following notation that is a probability when X is greater than or equal to 12, meaning X can be 12, 13, okay, or 14. So in that case, we will add the probabilities when x is 12 and the probability that we have computed earlier when x is 12 is 0.2. So that's why we have 0.2 plus the probability when x is 13, which is 0.1, plus the probability when x is 14, which is also 0.1. So 0 0.2 plus 0.1 plus 0.1 will give us the sum or the total probability would be equal to 0.4. Okay? Now, what about if we are asked um, of the probability of at most 11 patients. Now, when you say at most 11, okay, I mean to say the maximum is 11. So, we can take 11 and 10, okay? And that is indicated by x is less than or equal to 11. So, the x values will be 11 and below. So, in this case, in our table, we can only take values which will be 11 and 10. So summing up their probabilities, we come up with 0.4 plus 0.2, and that will give us 0.6, okay? Uh, by the way, there's a typo error here, and we make use of a capital letter P to indicate uh, or to denote the probability of a given, a random variable X, okay? Now, for your learning task, this is uh, what you will need to uh, answer. You apply what we have uh, covered in um, this uh, module, okay?